With the Rule DLC coming out very soon, there are many exciting things to look forward to upon its release. However, I come up with at least 10 things that I believe need to be within the Rune DLC. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing that needs to be within the Rune DLC is Glamour Up Bonnie. We have yet to see what Bonnie looks like within FNAF Security Breach. However, the fandom has come up with their own designs as to what it could look like, and with these amazing designs that people come up with, hopefully Steel Wolf Studios will take that inspiration and create a design that'll be pleasing to all of us. But one thing we do know for certain is that Glamour Bonnie did exist within the Peach Plex. He had his own green room, he had his own arrow within the main atrium, and not to mention he was part of the Glamrock band. But there so many things we were curious about Bonnie. Was Monty the one that destroyed Glamrock Bonnie? Did Vanny send a bunch of staff bots to disassemble Bonnie and afterwards use his parts to rebuild Burn Trap? Or could he be the Bonnie that we see within the end of Security Breach Room DLC trailer? Sooner or later, we will figure out what happened to Bonnie. And I think what makes it even more wholesome to be reunited with Bonnie is that Freddy does end up finding Bonnie. Either A, it could be just decommissioned but afterwards put back together. Or if Freddy does end up finding Bonnie but he's far too gone, we could simply just have a moment where he wants to avenge his friend by taking down the glitch trap virus. Either way, we just all want to know what happened to our favorite Bonnie. The second thing that needs to be within the Rune DLC is Glamrock Foxy. Now I know there's not a lot of information or whereabouts of Foxy himself or if he ever existed. However, we do have areas dedicated within the Pete's Plats, such as the Pirates Code, not to mention there were cutouts that you can find within the Pete's Plats. And of course, we do have to remember there was also a daycare tenant before Sun and Moon became the new daycare tenant. So it's very possible not only did Foxy maybe handle Pirates Code, but he could have been also, you know, the daycare tenant and maybe hearing after what happened to Bonnie, he decided to do his own little investigation and from there, Benny took care of him. Even if Glamrock Foxy was never mentioned within the main game itself or was the main animatronic, I'd love to see him have some sort of little importance or you know significance within the lore of security breach the third thing that needs to be within the room dlc is more arcade mini games the only few mini games we do have within the peach place is the balloon board mini game you can find within the daycare attendant secret room not to mention there's also monty golf in monty's gator golf and of course, not to mention, there's also the Princess Quest games you can find around the different areas of the Pizza Plex. However, there were so many games that are actually part of Con Content, so hopefully with that Con Content making them return within the DLC, we can see things such as like, you know, Chica Freedy Frenzy, not to mention the arcade game within Freddy's Room or the one Rats and Wolf. Overall, it would just be nice to play some more mini games and just, you know, chill out and just take a little bit easy while we continue to explore the deep, dark depths of the Pizza Plex. So the fourth thing that needs to be added within the Room DLC are more intense boss fights. The main game itself does present a variety of these boss fights. However, some of them are quite interesting, while others, not so much. But with the room DLC giving the Pizza Plex more dark abandoned theme to it, not to mention with the animatronics new design everything, it'll increase more of a fear factor within these boss fights, not to mention making them a lot more scarier, but therefore it'll get the boss fights that players are looking for. Either way, we just want some crazy boss fights. The fifth thing that I believe needs to be added from the room DLC is Cassie being sympathetic to the animatronics. Now I know this sounds crazy as such, seeing how the animatronics are affected by the glitch shot virus and that they were trying to kill Gregory and such, and that potentially they might do the same thing for Cassie, but we also do have to remember that they were never this way, they were never programmed to hurt people, and that they were actually kind, genuine unique animatronics had a good time being at the pizza plants, their own birthday parties, and just being themselves. There must be a good explanation. They are not capable of hurting a guest. None of us are. It would go against our programming. There were moments where the game where Gregor was pretty harsh and cruel as to taking out his animatronics, even though he doesn't really have a choice, but still, you think maybe he would potentially give some sort of second thought, saying, hey, maybe also the best way to stop the animatronics is to remove the virus from the system, so that way they can stop haunting me down, and from there, things can go back to normal. And there are going to be some people who do like Gregory's character, however, there are going to be some who doesn't like his character at all. But by having Cassie's character and personality be the exact opposite to Gregory, and her showing sympathy to animatronics and wanting to save him, I believe this will make her character more likable within the story of Security Breach. But either way, I think this would be a great addition to the DLC. Moving on to the sixth thing that should be within the Rune DLC is saving the animatronics. Now, we know that the Glamour animatronics are affected by the glitch trap virus and therefore makes them aggressive and angry. However, the animatronics were always programmed this way. They actually were programmed to be kind and gentle to everyone. And yes, I get it. We do need to have some constant looming threats around the pizza plants in order to complete the objectives. However, I feel that, like, you know, people have grown so much close and attached to these animatronics and that within the community itself, people have always been talking about how we just wanted to save them due to having their own characters and personality. Even though some people want to destroy the animatronics, I believe they deserve that chance to be freed of the glitch shot virus. So this way, they can all get that happy end that they deserve. And Cassie, along with the other free animatronics, can locate Gregory, stop the glitch shot virus, and therefore all escape from the pizza plex. Either way, I do believe these animatronics do deserve to be served some good. So the seventh thing that needs to be added from the room DLC is more Vanny and Vanessa screen time. There were some moments where Vanessa was roaming around in the hallways acting as a security guard looking for Gregory, and of course, there was moments where she bought on her bunny costume and became Vanny looking to try and kill Gregory. And a lot of people thought that with this character being introduced within the FNAF floor and everything, it should be more of a you know dark scarier horror type of character within the story as such however a lot of opportunity potential was missed within security breach due to its atmosphere being vibrant and colorful however with the room dlc's new abandoned dark room theme to it bandit could use these shadows and high spots to advantage to get the jump on cassie and end her and not to mention this will make your character a lot more scarier and there could even be a moment within the story where once vanessa is freed a glitch shot control we can have a moment where i'd like to see her just take off the mask have some motions play out on her character and such and therefore all that missed potential that was missed back then we can see it all here on screen here due to her showing the more emotions and 
being grateful to Cassie and such, and therefore wanted to make up for all the misdeeds that she was made to do. Either way, by giving Benny and Vanessa more screen time within the game itself, this will overall make her character more scary and more appreciated, and therefore kind of overall make up for that missed potential that was within the main game itself. The eighth thing that needs to be in the Rune DLC is no bugs and glitches. I cannot stress enough about the fact that how there's so many bugs and glitches we the players had to counter and go through while we were playing this game. But then again, some of that fault does come onto us as the players because we kept on rushing SeaWorld Studios to present this game already and just, yeah, it's nobody's fault by ours. So I hate to say that, but kind of the blame does go on us guys. But with SteelWool Studios taking their time with the DLC, almost about a year and a half and them updating us every once in a while, this is going to show us that SteelWool is taking their time with the DLC, trying to make sure there aren't too many bugs and glitches. And we do have to remember, not every single game is going to be perfect, but as long as we can solve the problem and we all have fun, that's all that matters. So the ninth thing that should be added within the Rune DLC is multiple endings. Now this is actually a concept that my viewers kept asking me multiple times with my previous FNAF live streams and such, and after giving this concept more thought, I believe it's fully possible. I mean, think about it guys, if the main game itself had multiple endings, then logically speaking, that the DLC should also have multiple ends as well because SteelWool Studios has also been working on this DLC for at least about a year and a half and the DLC is supposed to be as big as the game itself. I would reckon they would add at least three to four endings within the DLC itself. Again, this is simply just speculation concept right here. However, I believe it'd be simply a little fun thing that could be added within the DLC. And with there being multiple endings within the Rune DLC, this will give a lot for the players to work towards. And the 10th and final thing that should be added within the Rune DLC is an overall good story. Now, I'm not saying the story of Security Breach wasn't good, but I think we all overall agree at the end of the day, we simply want a good story that has a lot of motions, captures a lot of good scenes of all these characters personalities and characteristics and not to mention just an experience that we'll never forget but with the amount of time steel studios has been taken to create the dlc i have no doubt they'll do the best in doing so and that right there covers all 10 things that need to be within the room dlc if you guys feel like there's anything else that's needed within the room dlc make sure you guys leave it in the comment section if you guys want to watch more fnaf content make sure you guys click on one of these videos right here on screen here but i want to say thanks again so much love support and watch today's video and as always guys stay safe stay positive be flutter and remember the grind never stops and i'll see you guys in the next one take it easy y'all